Hi, this is Rick from Melissa Bee Farm and Aquaponics Garden here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, today, as the title said, we're going to be talking about filling a swimming pool, specifically my swimming pool. Uh, there are a lot of reasons that uh, we didn't need it anymore, and we'll go into those as we go forward, but uh, the biggest one was cost and lack of utility. The pool uh, was costing us about $100 a month on average uh, in chemicals and electricity and water, and we weren't using it very much. And so our, our backyard is very small anyway. Uh, the swimming pool takes up about uh, three quarters of it or more. And I thought maybe we could put that to uh, better use. Now access is a major problem for us. Uh, we have a, a large cemetery directly behind the house and we have a, um, uh, a deck blocking the west side entrance. And so uh, the east side seems to be the very best place to go in. You can see in this picture, this is high noon uh, at our house in August and the pool is mostly shaded. On the west side of the house we had an 11 foot entrance which is good for an 8 foot bobcat so we're cutting it kind of close here. This is our pool in the middle of the winter uh, covered to keep the dogs and kids out. I took the uh, swimming pool pump added a piece of PVC and repurposed it to empty the pool and then broke um, about 30 holes in the bottom using a, a, a sledgehammer and pickaxe. Here's uh, the very first load of, of soil going in and the rest is all automated with this bobcat. It took um, two days total. Um, we had a couple of rain days in between made a little sloppy. The whole fill took five loads of um, sand. The load was nine cubic yards in a dump truck. And then another three loads of sandy loam. Uh, this kind of project's pretty easy if you let the machinery do all the work for you. So enjoy this little industrial ballet. And uh, we'll finish up in just a second. I speeded this up so it won't take too long at all. It's important to, uh, if you're pulling the apron in, to make sure that it, uh, it lays flat and doesn't leave any pockets to be filled. We scored the apron with a uh, carbide saw. Uh, it was places we wanted to keep as footing for the uh, decks and stairs. And then we, of course, dumped all the apron into the bottom of the pool as well. Uh, this worker is using a sledgehammer to break loose the last little part where we scored across it. And there you have it. We'll let this settle for about a year before I start building on it. Uh, Going to have a garden shed, uh, possibly a little greenhouse, lots of garden beds and places for more um, beehives. The uh, grass will be held down by a tall fescue hybrid from Southern Bell, local seed company here in the Virginia Beach area. And we are just pleased as punch to have the, uh, the pool gone and able to do something uh, really useful and uh, satisfying with the backyard now. So that's uh, it for us. Um, this is Rick at Melissa Bee Farm. Thanks for watching.